Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. It's gonna be a quick one on just how to get ready and get your rigs all set up to auto switch over to mine FiroPow when Firo forks from their current MTP algorithm over to FiroPow, which is coming tonight where I'm from. So let's take a look here. What time is it gonna be happening over on their Twitter? It's gonna be 6 GMT, which translates to for me 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the US. So the next question is how do you get ready? Especially for me, I'll be sleeping at that time. How can I get my rigs ready to, so they can auto switch over to mine on FiroPow? So I'm over on Firo's website and I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description below. And you can see the miners that are ready. We got our familiar T-Rex miner for NVIDIA ready and Team Red Miner is ready for AMD. They have the new FiroPow algorithm incorporated into their mining software. Here's a list of pools, official pools that are ready. So you got MinPond, Zell Lab, Zerg Pool, F2 Pool, Wooly Pooly, Two Miners, and Solo Pool. So you can pick your pool of choice and get started. They're all gonna support this fork. Now for T-Rex Miner, which is what I'll be using for my NVIDIA GPUs, they added this argument here, which is fork at, and then the time that the fork is gonna happen. So what the miner will do you'll be mining on the current MTP algorithm. And as soon as the fork happens, it's gonna automatically switch over to mine the FiroPal algorithm. You can also do solo mining if that's something that you're interested in. They'll have all the instructions and everything here on the Firo website, which again, I'll leave links to down in the description. I'm over on two miners. That's the pool that I will be using for this fork. And they have everything ready to go and all of the instructions on how you can get ready what miners are gonna be able to be used, how you can configure your miners, links to the miners, everything is gonna be available here. So I'll leave a link down in the description below to this too. So the way I have this set up is I have the latest T-Rex miner ready to go. And in the miners batch file for two miners for Firo, I've included that fork argument. You can see it right here. And that's it, that's all I have to do and I'm ready to go. So I just wanna show you what happens in the miner once I start this batch file. So I have a RTX 3070 non-LHR uh, in my test bench here. I have some overclock set, which I'll talk about in a second. And you can see right here, when I start the miner, it says fork has been requested and the alg uh, algorithm will be changed to FiroPal. And that's exactly what you wanna see so that you know that you're gonna be mining on MTP. And then as soon as that time comes, it's gonna automatically switch over to FiroPal. Now there are two different algorithms and that's something I wanted to touch on here because overclocks on one might not necessarily work on the other. So what I've done is I've picked some conservative overclocks because the last thing I want to happen is when it switches over to al the algorithm that everything crashes overnight and I wasn't able to participate. In my testing that I've done on just a few GPUs, the overclocks for Firo Power are very similar to Ravencoin's Kapow. So if you have some of those set up or you can find those online, that's pretty much where you're gonna land. But MTP is a pretty intensive algorithm. So when I tried on this 3070, the overclocks that I would traditionally use on Raven, it would crash, it was too much. So what I wound up doing just to make sure I'm not gonna crash overnight when the switch happens, is I just brought them down a little bit to get conservative. So I have my core clock at 100, where I would typically have it a little bit more for Raven, and then I have my memory clock lower to a thousand where I would typically have it a little bit more for Raven, just being as conservative as possible because the most important thing to me during this fork is that everything moves over to potentially take advantage of a time of really good profitability. Don't know if that's gonna happen. Don't know how quick the difficulty is gonna reset, but I still wanna be there to support the project, be there to potentially have a chance to take some really great profits. And I'll be doing that over on two miners. So I got to go because I got to get all my rigs ready, all the overclock set. I'm moving every NVIDIA GPU that I have over to this fork. I would love to know from you guys if you're going to be doing this down in the comments section below. Hope this helps you get ready and I'll see you at the fork.